Now allow me to explain exactly why I'm doing this. If you don't remember my last video, or you just didn't see it, I essentially criticized a man by the name of Charles Lee at the second for his ridiculous actions in a Discord server. My intentions simply were to make that video, laugh at what he did, and move on. However, the circumstances that arose after that video have become crazy enough to where I just could not be quiet about them. They are absolutely insane. And that's the explanation for this video right here. Now the first thing Lee did before he even watched the video was to encourage his troglodyte supporters to mass report it for harassment, which they ended up doing. Even though I stated in the video that my intention was not to harass him, and my intention still is not to harass him. Before we begin, I want to make my intentions here very clear. The point of this video is simply just to be critical of this guy and his actions, and I feel like pointing these things out would make for an entertaining video. Simply put, the point here is not to harass him or to get him fired from his, his oh-so-prestigious job that we'll get to in a minute. And I'm taking this opportunity right now before I say anything to denounce all harassment that might come this guy's way. If you do that, you're an asshole. But I have to make this second video because he and his supporters have been harassing me. By the way, doing this is against terms of service and you can get your channel terminated for it. And participating in this could have the same result. I also got this hilarious comment that said I needed to ask permission to feature their Discord screenshots or something. Obviously that's not the case, but they then tried to justify it saying that it's because they live in the UK and so I needed to play by their rules. Alright, assuming that even is a law in the UK, which it's not, why would an American, making a video on another American, using an American website, using screenshots from American websites, require to play by the rules of the UK system because not everyone in their screenshots is American? No. YouTube is a United States website, and it is bound by United States laws. I live in the United States, so I am bound by United States laws. If you are outside of the U.S. using YouTube, you are then bound by your country's laws and the United States laws using YouTube. But because I'm in the United States, I only need to play by the United States laws. This is fucking self-evident. But, you know, that's, that's a little too complicated for them, I guess. The UK doesn't even have a law against me treating you like a dumbass. I then tweeted out about this because this is legitimate harassment, and someone by the name of Patar came back and encouraged his supporters to report my video for harassment. How ironic. Patar was the guy that said I needed to give Lee special clearance because he works in television. He also then said that Lee had the right to DCMA claim my video because he owns the show Corrin Stream, and I used a minimal amount of footage from it without permission. Meanwhile, if you take a look at Patar's channel, oh, what do you know, it's a limitless stream of muted playthroughs of video games based on game shows, and use the trademarked logos, the trademarked format, the copyrighted music, illegally. Oh, maybe you should do your research before hopping on a status. Patar, there is no way in hell you could even come close to arguing that your videos here are transformative in any way. While they aren't necessarily the programs in itself, everything about them is still copyright infringement and is not a transformative use of those properties. Not that I really care. I, I'm not trying to get you fucking in trouble here. You are literally the last person in the world to claim that I am breaking copyright law. When your YouTube channel is the fucking definition of it. Asking people to report the video and encourage the dude to DMCA Drake is equally as petty as the video itself. Drake never got permission to share copyrighted stuff, so he screwed himself on that. What stuff was copyrighted that he was not providing criticism review or otherwise making sure it wouldn't be considered a replacement for the experience of the media while displaying on screen? Corrin Stream is copyright material and therefore is protected under DCMA law. Maybe do your research before hopping on a status. I thought this would be the end of it and that Lee wouldn't actually be dumb enough to try and fraudulently make a DMCA claim to take down my video. I think you can guess what happened. Yeah, he did do that and they actually ended up lying about the details to try and edge YouTube on. Lee committed perjury to try and shut me down. I'm flattered. What Lee probably didn't realize is when you make a DMCA claim on someone, 
YouTube is going to send the entire conversation between the claimant and YouTube over to the person that's being attacked. That's right, Lee. I have what you said to YouTube, and I'm going to read every last fucking lie that you told them. The first email is just the template one generated once you submit a DMCA claim. Note the disclaimer reading that Lee confirmed that this information was accurate under threat of perjury, when the information was blatantly inaccurate. For example, he incorrectly claimed that the copyrighted material, in this case being Corrin's stream, was featured from 1 minute to 1 minute 45 seconds. That is nearly double the actual length, which was from 1 minute 21 to 1 minute 48, if you count this freeze frame. If you don't count it, then it's 1 minute 21 to 1 minute 45. So he blatantly lied. He also tried to say that it's content matched to a random episode he picked, like as if it's just a continuous stream of 20 or 45 seconds from this random episode, when in fact, that's impossible because it's several episodes cut together. YouTube emailed him back saying that he's full of shit, along with the definition of fair use. So he emailed back saying that I used approximately 45 seconds of footage, which as we establish is a lie, and that my use of it isn't transformative because I only placed a CRT filter effect over my videos and says that at the end of the video, actual fucking human beings watch this. Which is not all I did, that is another lie. Quarren streamed the game show. Where each episode is fucking an hour and a half long, which would be fine if an hour of it wasn't just bullshit. In the arms of an angel. And that means I won't have any more beverages. Eat my beverages, Phil. Beverage, beverage, beverage. Yeah, who says I'm not classy? A little trash, though, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking actual human beings watch this. And Hasbro, the game show. Half of the footage is muted with me talking over it, along with me criticizing the length and Lee's sense of comedy. That is transformative. Maybe not an in-depth five-hour Quentin review video on it, but it is definitively criticism. Saying that, oh, it's fucking two hours long, that is me criticizing the length of it. That gives me the legal exemption to use the necessary amount of footage that I needed to, which I only used that and nothing more. I used as minimal footage as I needed to. I did not show an interrupted five minute clip of it or something. I'm not necessarily Fundy Fridays. Half of it was muted and it was 20 seconds. He then also claims that using this footage has caused my fan base of the show to drop as they, my audience, have seen the video this user has posted. When if you look at his Twitch VODs, you can immediately see that this is a lie. The two streams that he did after my video's release actually have higher view counts than they had beforehand. It has not, by your own words, caused your fan base to drop. That is a lie. As a result of this user's video being uploaded to the YouTube platform, both myself and the copyright of Quarren Stream have suffered actual and reputational harm. What does suffer reputational harm to you is your own childish actions and breaking the law to try and shut me down. He then says that it's abundantly clear that under no obvious circumstances would this use of my copyright of Quarren Stream constitute any sort of fair use. After he lied about the amount of footage was shown, the nature of it, and what I did with it. If my video was, as he claimed, just putting a CRT filter over the show and saying actual fucking people watch this, then no, it probably wouldn't be considered fair use, because it's not transformative enough. However, because I did critique the show, I critiqued the length, I critiqued your humor, and by showing your stupid fucking intro, I am critiquing how you start the show. I am transforming it. This, it does not serve the same purpose as the original media, which is the most integral principle of fair use. He also then mentions that because I have a link to my clothing line in the about tab of my channel, that it is possible I am profiting off of Quarren Stream. I am fully within my legal right to monetize my video, even if it has copyrighted material. Because I use that material in a transformative way, such as a review. Monetization is a factor that's sometimes considered, but it's not definitive and is barely even worth mentioning. He also tries to argue that my use of the Discord screenshots is illegal because you need an invite link to access that server, an invite link that was, and still is, publicly available for anyone to get to. It's just complete and utter nonsense. And finally, he tries to argue that fair use doesn't apply to him because he is a private citizen, not a public figure, 
despite having a Facebook page for both the show and himself, a Twitter page, a YouTube page, a Twitch channel, an IMDb page, and fucking seriously, do I even need to go on? The guy that's credited on screen on television shows is not a public individual? No, no, no! You are intentionally trying to be a public figure. So there you have it. He attempted to mass report and harass me, which breaks terms of service, and he committed perjury to attempt to launch a fraudulent DMCA claim to try and shut me down, which breaks both terms of service and the law. And overall, he's just a fucking idiot. Parody and criticism are protected by the fair use doctrine, which makes my previous video perfectly legal, it makes this video perfectly legal, and it makes what's about to happen perfectly legal. Happy birthday, Lee. Make sure we're not. Make sure we're not. We're not showing Discord. My all my shit. We're all under like, uh, what is it called? NDAs and. Yeah. Yeah. I'm violating. You're you're all you're all uh private in, private individuals. Right. Yeah. We're we're private individuals. I you you make sure you're not showing me. Now the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna reveal the possible answers to each question that I'm gonna re are gonna be <laughs> bidding and how confident they can answer. They can go back and forth until one of them says BS, basically. Means any sort of uh, blasphemy will lose points, lose money. It is real money. So here we go. We're going to start with our first question. And the possible answers are 30, 40, and 50. Uh, Daniel, what's your bid? Oh, uh, uh, 30. $30? <laughs> okay. Out of 50. Xander, oh. do you want to... You want to beat that? All right, I'll, I'll bid 50. You're I'll bid 50. All of it? All of it? Means we can't go higher than that. So that means... I think I'm just full of a bunch of BS. That's what this is. <laughs> well, and this is just the shortest quiz show ever. That means if you lose, by the way, if you get this incorrect, he gets all your money and you lose immediately. So Xander, the, the question is... Quiz. How old was Prophet Muhammad... When he received the first re revelation of the Quran, was he 30, 40, or 50? You just hear. Just typing. 40. That's correct. It, oh, God. Does that mean that. He, I think you fucked up the whole game. I also thought he was answering. I thought we were bidding on whether or not he could answer the question properly. Well, you're, ans you're, you're bidding on your confidence of if you can answer it. That's what you're. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that makes that makes a little bit more sense. Abdullah, Abu Talib, and Hamza. That's the possible answers. Uh, I'm gonna let Xander make. That's all of Daniel's money. That's all of the money, dude. What are you doing? Who was the Prophet Muhammad's father? Was it Abdullah, Abu Talib, or Hamza? It's Hamza. Who? Daniel. Okay. Next, next one. Uh, this will go to Daniel. Daniel can make the first bid. The possible answers are Muharram, Ramadan, or January. Um. Well, since I lack a lot of confidence for these for, for these answers, I'm just gonna bid ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, Xander, do you want to beat that? Do you think you can answer that? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him uh, take it. Okay. What is the first month of the Islamic calendar? Is it Muharram, Ramadan, or January? Ooh. So the regular month of the year, just January. The regular. I'm sorry. The traditional month of the year, traditional January, because I not culture is traditional enough for you. Your angle is not in mind. Oh. Yes, it's not. See, this is what racism gets you. Gets you nowhere. It's not abnormal if the first uh, month of your year is Muharram. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bid twenty. Twenty. All right, Daniel, you think you can beat that? You have, uh, you have ten more than that. Uh, I guess so. You fall. You go for it. Okay. So, uh, Xander, for twenty dollars, Allah needs our worship. True. He does not need us. I don't know what the actual scripture is. But he does not actually need your praise. He does not need your prayers. Because he will be just fine without you. Because mm. he is so grand and great and holy. That's for Daniel now. Our possible answers are homosexuality, murder, and prejudice. Homosexuality, my favorite. 
All right, uh, Daniel, what, what do you want to bid for that? Mm, I'd say, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll probably bid 10 again. 10, all right. Jam, do you want to beat that? No, I'm going to let him take it. Devil's inhabitants have committed for you. What is he referring to? Homosexuality, murder, or prejudice? Well, the only crime I, I hear in that, that set of answers is murder. But at the same time... Isn't Islam one of the most homophobic countries of all time? This is not a geography quiz. You're being extremely <laughs> It's not normal to have your first month be Muharram. You're saying that Islam has its own like section of the world. The answer is what? All right. I'd say I would... I'm probably not 100% going to be wrong with, but I'm just going to pick murder. Homosexuality, my guy. I... He knew it. I knew it. Why'd you know it? We need to read more into Islamic history, so I need to read more into that. Yes. Domestic violence, infidelity, or blasphemy? Those are the possible answers. Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if you not the right, then, then Daniel's left with a dollar. The question is, what does the sword verse say a man can be forgiven for if they repent? Domestic violence, infidelity, or blasphemy? Infidelity. That is incorrect. <sighs> oh! So that's you. Um, Daniel, do you have a guess on the correct answer there? Obviously, you know it because we're all, uh, well, the three of us are big uh, Islam. You don't need it because you know it. Domestic violence, infidelity, and blasphemy. Hmm. Uh, blasphemy? It's domestic violence. Oh. Okay. This is for Xander. The the possible answers are the Quran, the Bible, or the Torah. Oh man, I have a good feeling about this. How much do I have left? Yep. I'll bid fifty nine. <laughs> You're going all in. You can't do that. I'm going all in. You can do up to forty one. That's all in there because <laughs> okay. Daniel doesn't have fifty nine. Okay. Yet. Uh, oh yeah, he doesn't have it. Yeah. All right, I'll go forty one. No, 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 no. I'm going 40. I'm going 40. I'm trying to make him go back down to one, yeah. Okay. Daniel, you could counter this, though. It could be a tricky or an easy one. Are you going to bid? Uh, I'll bid I'll bid all my money. Okay, so he bids, bids back with 41. Um, I mean, Xander, Xander can't outbid him because Daniel doesn't have any more money to give. Uh, my guess is the... Okay, uh... You're bidding all- you've been all your points in this, and you don't know the answer to this. Come on! Well, knowing the name of this show, I'm assuming it would be the Quran? You would? Really? It is the Quran. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, <laughs> you got it oh. right. Yeah, uh, fuck it. Obviously! I was surprised you were deliberating over that. Me too! I was like, what is that? I thought he was doing it for show. Right. Okay, so that's eighty-two dollars to Daniel and eighteen for for Xander. The tables have really flipped here. Yeah. Okay. God. So Daniel, and it's Daniel's bid. So Daniel, you can make an opening bid here. You can bid up to eighteen dollars. Mission, peace, or freedom? Mission. I want to spare. I want to spare Xander here, so I'll just bid um five bucks. Five dollars. Okay. Daniel, you want to bid back? I'm going 18. <laughs> okay, you're going 18. Oh, I'm going 18. Okay, that means that he basically gets this question. And the question is, the term Islam means submission, peace, or freedom? Um. And if you get this word, wrong, it... you lose the game and lose all your money. I'd think? say don't answer. It's not uh, your turn. Don't answer. But it's my it's my oh, question. Oh, it was peace to mission and it was submission, mm. peace or freedom. Freedom and peace. Okay, the answer is freedom. No, it isn't. You just lost. Oh, um, I just lost. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, it's submission. The you submit to Allah. You submit to him. I don't know. Maybe I thought they would be, they'd be they'd be trying. 
No, I thought maybe they were trying to, you know, pull people in, make them think that it's, you know, like nice, you know, like it's not nice. People like submission drapes. Some people like yeah. submission drapes. Some people. I'm not saying that I do. I'm not saying that I do, but you know, some people like submission. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you know. Okay. Well. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys, with your homies. I don't know if you guys even noticed this, but the correct answer was always the first answer I read. Oh, oh wow. I just noticed that. Yeah, you noticed that after I told you that you could have taken advantage of that and.